playing for you a piece by David Bellatrenge called The Ballad in Yellow. And I kind of want to tie all these threads together of uh, the pieces that I've been playing so that you understand why I contextualize David with music by Rachmaninoff and music by Chopin and music by Schubert. So this composer, David Beltrevici, and I encourage you to look him up. Uh, he was born in 1937 in California. Uh, when he was in his 20s, he moved out to New York. But in his career, he ended up teaching at a number of very prestigious places. For example, just not too far away from here, he taught at Harvard University uh, as a composer. And then ultimately, he settled uh, at the City College of New York, where he had a very, very high position um, as a tenured full professor. He taught composition, and uh, his music has been performed all over the world and recorded uh, by the major orchestras in the world. Uh, in the 1970s, as I was telling you earlier, he broke away from what was then considered the typical academic style of composition, which was to write music that didn't sound like this, what I just played for you, which is very singable. For example, um, you, you recognize this melody? Right, so you can turn these melodies into singable music. Uh, you can't do the same thing with that kind of acerbic, atonal, academic style that was so important in mid-century, in mid-20th century American music. So this composer, he broke away from that style, and he started writing romantic music, lush music, emotional music, music that could speak directly to the audience, and he never turned back. So the film that I made is essentially about this transformation, right? Why David, this composer, would write that way, but also it touches on his very personal and intimate life, uh, where he uh, started to write music that was connected to elements of his personality and identity. So I encourage you to go and see the film, and also don't bring your kids. <laughs> All right, this piece, The Ballad and Young. Uh, do you remember the piece that I started uh, our stereo demonstration with today? Uh, this, also by Schubert, by the way. It's another impromptu, it's from Opus 90. This is the third one. Ballad in Yellow. And so here it is here. If you'd like to see the cover, 
uh, ballot in yellow. Now, this piece is from 1997, so you see we've been jumping quite, a, quite around chronologically, right? We moved from the middle of the 19th century to the early 19th century to the late 19th century, and I just skipped 100 years and went directly from 1892 to 1997. But we'll have to make up for it another time. So this piece uh, is a transcription of a song that David actually wrote for voice and piano. And it's after the poetry of Federico Garcia Lorca, if you're familiar with his poetry. And I'm going to read for you the poem uh, upon which that song, or to which that song is set. So here's the poem. So you'll forgive me if I didn't memorize it. It's, it's a little long. Uh, the Ballad in Yellow. So listen to the imagery. That's really what I want, to, want you to get from this. So the song um, and the poetry by Lorca. Here's the poetry. Over a sky made of daisies, I walk. I imagine today that I'm holy, that they placed the moon in my hands, that I set her back into space, and the Lord awarded me a rose and a halo. Over a sky made of daisies, I walk. And now I move down this field, rescuing maidens from evil suitors, giving gold coins to all the young boys. Over a sky made of daisies, I walk. Really a very lush, beautiful poem, isn't it? And you hear that refrain, over a sky made of daisies, I walk. So this would suggest that in the music itself, there would be something repetitive, a kind of musical refrain. And that's actually exactly what David, again, Del Tredici, what he does. So what I want you, I'm gonna prime you just a little bit like I did with some of the other pieces. I want you to imagine that there was originally someone singing, but then of course David transcribed this into a piano piece. So just like the Schubert vocalist, this impromptu. You can very clearly hear what would have been the vocal line. Here, this is what it sounds like. So the piece begins with a kind of bam. So in uh, musical theater, you probably know what the bam is.
Thank you.